in statistics and in distributions. We'll go into statistics. We'll do a linear regression for this one, so we'll do two. Frequencies are still turned on. Let's go ahead and uh, put in some data. Remember, if you would like to turn off your frequencies, you would go into the setup. And we're going to go over here and uh, enter our Y values. We'll do a couple more. And we'll put in one that's negative. We can calculate the regression equation like before. If you create a QR code at this kind of screen where you've got the solution, when you scan that QR code with your smart device, your phone or your tablet or computer even, you're going to get exactly what you looked at when you generated that solution. So what we want to be able to do is look at the data. So if you want to look at the QR code that has the data, including the graph, make sure you're in the data screen. So when you hit the QR code and scan that one, you get the graphical representation along with the data set that you have. Now you'll be able to select different regressions here. Here's a linear regression fit right on top. But you can also experiment and look at the different types of regressions that you can try to draw on this screen. Every once in a while you will get an error message that says it's un unsupported by these parameters, which is okay. But you can manipulate and play around with those. Another place we can look at QR codes, I'm going to minimize that screen, and we'll cancel that QR code. We will go into our menu, and let's take a look at distributions. Here's our distributions. We're going to do a normal, and we'll go between the values of negative 3 and 2, standard deviation of 1.5, and, and a mean of 1. So when we calculate that probability and we generate our QR code, scan that QR code, here's what we get. Same information that I entered, same answer that I just got, but we also get the graphical representation, which includes the area between and the areas that are not included are in blue. Other things you can do, we'll minimize that window there. When you go in your distributions, we've got the ability to do the inverse norm. The inverse norm will not give you a QR code that shows you the graph, but the binomial will. So let's go a binomial. We'll do it based on a list. Here we'll type in the number of successes we're looking for. On the last one, when you press equals, it gives you the how many trials are we doing. We'll do 10 trials. Probability of success, 0.25. Again, if let's hit execute again. Here's your probabilities for each of those successes when we look at the QR code. We get that same table of values, but we, what we really want to see is we want to see a graph of these same probabilities. So let's AC out of here. We'll go back into our options. We're going to select the type again. We'll still stick with binomial. We're going to do one based on the variable. Keeping the same information in the same, five successes, 10 trials, probability. Now, when we take a look at our QR code and scan that one, what we end up with is a nice graphical representation from that zero to six that we had listed. So here's another way we can take a look at that same information using QR codes. So QR codes will give you a graphical representation of things that you've seen on your calculator screen.